Hello. Hello. This video I'm going to show you how you can add custom plugins in CS 1.6. All right. First thing, as usual, we're going to be installing AMD Mod X installer in our CS 1.6. All right. So double click it. Yes, of course. Now this is a base files of the program itself. It's not the files that will go in CS 1.6. So in here you can safely go. You can go like this, man. You don't even need to worry. These are the base files of it. As you can see, we have it done. Now we are going to go to the actual part when it says I'm the mod X installer 1.8.2. You, you can do this with other other version of the M the mod X install, like 1.9, 1.9.3, I believe. But yeah, man, let's go. We click finish and this will auto run itself. Okay, now you're going to click up next. Click I accept the terms of agreements. Next again. Now in here. You might do a mistake, but make sure you select select mode directory. This you must do, not other thing, okay? You click next. Now in here, before you're going to search up for your CS 1.6 on your file location, now you're going to go here, custom game add-on, and make sure from none, you select Counter-Strike, which is basically CS 1.6, select that. And now you're going to find where your CS 1.6 file location is located, of course. Now I've found my CS 1.6 file location, so as a Steam user we have Half-Life and not custom folder name. So you're going to click on the plus or you can double click it and you're going to click again in here and now you can select Thunder Strike in here. I've already installed them, but you can click OK, they will automatically install for you, so yeah. I've already done that, but now let's go with the plugin. So now for the plugin, I will be using Cook, for example. Most of you must already know it, but I'm doing it for the sake of the tutorial. So in, now in here, as you can see, the name is Admin Hook for a reason, but uh, eh, for me, I can change it. It does not really matter. You can put like any name you want to your plugins, but it does not really matter. As long as the name is the same, it's good, man. Like I might explain it to you. Now you just copy the name and now you're going to go on CS 1.6 file location again. CS Strike, Add-ons, Amazon Mod X, you're going to go to Coffings and now you're going to go to Plugins Ini to add this basically. Now in here you can go a little bit like this and paste it. Boom. This is how it's going to be named on Plugins Ini. And now make sure you save this. Boom. Now you go back to Amazon Mod X. And now we just uh, we just grab our uh, MX file. Boom! We paste it up on plugins. And now we go on game to test it out, man. And now we're in the game. I'm going to go to the console to add the bin command of the hook. Remember, each plugin has its own difference. Like in my case, I've installed hook, so I'm going to bind the command so I can activate it. Like bind v, for example, space plus hook. And boom. this is basically the plugin which uh, I installed for this tutorial. And this is how you can basically install normal plugins. And the next video, man, I'm going to show you how you can add extra items to your zombie plague mode. So, see you on that specific CS 1.6 tutorial. Peace.